Hi, I'm Paul Higgins and this is Paul Higgins Photography. So, today what I wanted to talk to you about was this little guy. It's the Rise Prey 7.5mm f2.8. So let's get right into the review. So, first of all, I'm saying a lot of so's, but that's pretty usual. This is the first recording that I'm doing on my Lumix G9, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, I did notice when I switched over to video, it crops in a little bit, so I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, I'm not a video guy. Today's video is on, um, as I showed you, this little box here. This is the Rise Pry 7.5mm f2.8 ultra wide angle micro four thirds lens. It's a great little lens, it was about a hundred bucks, and what I'm going to do is I'll show you around it, give you a little bit of a tour around it, and then I'll share some pictures that I took with it, uh, which are great. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. All right, let's get over and do that. Do the review. First things first, the box. It comes in a box. Well, as most things do. Also in the box was a brush which I can definitely say do not try and clean your sensor with because I did and it smudged a bunch of crud all over my sensor. The other thing it came with was these cool little gloves. Woo! Gloves for handling things. So I thought I'd give them a whirl. Right, so let's take a look at this lens, okay? So it it's incredibly well made. To be honest, if I threw this at someone, it'd probably kill them. It's very heavy. First thing to talk about with this lens is it's a an adapted lens so if I take the if I take the cover off you can see there is no there are no electrical contacts on this thing so when you're taking pictures it doesn't get any of the aperture information so when you take pictures you will have to make notes of what the aperture is the next thing on the construction side of things it has a I don't know if you can hear but this is actually a a, a metal lens hood, lens cover. This is well made as well. The lens itself has a, you know, it's the lens the lens does stick out quite a long way and the lens hood is not that great. But it, it is a great lens. So that's the lens construction. It also, the aperture is, is if I just shut up, the lens, uh, the, the, Aperture settings are not click stops, they're just smooth, which is great for video. Doesn't really matter to me on the photography side of things. Focusing ring is nice and smooth. The the whole thing is actually pretty damn awesome as far as being being pretty sturdy. Right, so what else do I want to say about it? I want to say the construction's great. I want to also say that this is looks to me identical to the Seven Artisans lens, which is about 60 or 70 bucks more expensive. So you might want to compare and contrast them, see how it goes. Other things to talk about before I jump into the montage of the photographs I took. First of all, watch out for fingers and, sh and, fingers and feet in your shots because it is incredibly wide angle. So I noticed a few fingers and camera straps and things creeping into my images so just watch out for that it does focus very close and it also has a really small aperture of f2.8 so you can actually get some very narrow depths of field as you'll see on uh, a couple of the pictures in the montage i think it's super sharp i mostly did my shots at f11 and higher so it's not that easy to tell how exactly how sharp it is but it pretty much is really, really sharp. So enjoy. I would definitely recommend this and take a look at the pictures. Thanks.
So what can I say about this little guy, this Rise Pry? Are you focusing? Yes you are. I don't know why things are backwards. Yeah well, it'll make sense later. What can I say about this Rise Pry lens? Well what I can say is it's absolutely awesome. I think you should definitely go buy one. At least go check them out. They're, I think this was about a hundred bucks. So it's a very, very good deal. I'm having great fun playing with it. I also took some interior shots, those are kind of cool too. The only thing you have to watch out for is the usual thing with extremely wide angle lenses and that you shouldn't shoot directly into the sun. The, there is a lens hood but it's completely useless. So don't shoot into the sun unless you want to see the the stuff that um, the internal reflections in your lens. Anyway, that's all from me. I'm Paul Higgins and this is Paul Higgins Photography. Take care. See you next time. It's, um, um, uh, and, uh, and, uh, am I in? Am I in? <laughs> okay, you should. <laughs> well, what can I say about the... I forgot what it was called. What was it called?